Hey, Dan Passarelli here. Happy Monday. How are you feeling today? So um, today we had what they call an inside day. Let's take a look at the S&P 500 chart here. On lower volume, an inside day means today's high was lower than yesterday's highs. Today's low was higher than yesterday's lows. It traded inside the range of yesterday. And that is basically a a pretty unimportant uh, chart pattern that gives us pretty little information, especially given the fact that it traded on one of the lowest volume days in the past six months. Now that on top of just from a fundamental standpoint, we really don't have much news coming out this week. Uh, the biggest news probably comes out on Thursday, uh, during which we have the weekly Thursday unemployment, non-farm payrolls, uh, and, or the weekly unemployment report, I should say. So with lack of a followable chart pattern and lack of a lot of news, we're mainly going to be trading based on things that come out in the interim. News that comes out during the week, likely political news, any news about specific companies, uh, you know, cabinet appointees, if we haven't gotten to all of those just yet, um, you know, foreign news. So there's not a lot to focus on. Um, you know, one of the main technical things we have is there's a gap above and a gap below. They say that gaps are meant to be filled um, this interestingly, I guess I didn't talk about this last time is a four day Island reversal, which you don't really see a lot. Um, and we had that big shoot up as a result of that, but a pull down since then. So unless we break through some moving averages, there's not that much to look at, which can be kind of a weird market. Um, so really chances are that even though the VIX is a great deal lower than it has been, it's still not in the really low territories. So we could have some potentially good opportunities for credit spreads this week. That being said, we'll talk tomorrow. This is Dan Passarelli, Trade Smart.